welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a week of kosher meals. This is everything me and my family are eating for dinner this week. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up to let me know. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Marian and I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom. And I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. And if you wanna follow along with what me and my family are doing or eating for dinner on any random day, then definitely follow me on Instagram. Okay, so let's jump into my week of meals. By the way, I do have a messy kitchen right now behind me because I just filmed my home and fashion baking video, which I'll link below as well because the Jewish holiday of Purim is coming up. So pretty exciting times here. So let's get into it, a week of kosher meals. Okay, so I just got everything ready for our dinner. Um, we're gonna do a salmon kind of stir fry, Asian noodle type thing. It's one of my favorite go-to meals. Oh, speaking of gorgeous deliciousness, I just got these tulips today from the grocery store. Um, okay, so I buy salmon, and all I do is I put some garlic powder, some soy sauce, and some honey. Don't ask me why my honey is such a mess. <laughs> So all I do is put that on top and roast it in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes or so just till it's cooked through. And then I saute up some veggies and I always just go with what we have. So today we have broccoli, I'm going to add some coleslaw and I love adding baby corn to this. And then these noodles, these ramen noodles cook up in like 3 minutes, it's super convenient. So I'm just going to mix it all together once it's cooked through. And then my little sneaky trick to make it look real fancy is to add sesame seeds on top. When I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys how it turns out. And easy Shabbat Shalom guys it is Friday afternoon and I'm getting everything ready for Shabbat menu tonight Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> the boys are playing and for our Shabbat menu I'm doing a take on a Middle Eastern chicken recipe so I just have chicken thighs olive oil dates figs and Israeli olives and I'm just gonna roast them. There's nothing like too special about it. I'll add salt and pepper. As you can see from my cooking, I don't use like recipes in that sense. I just get inspiration of flavors and things I think would go well together. And then I usually just like roast it. So that's the plan for the chicken. I'm gonna make rice and then with it, just some veggies, English peas, and what is this broccoli from Trader Joe's today. Speaking of Trader Joe's, look at these gorgeous flowers like are you kidding me oh my goodness sorry this has nothing to do with meal planning but it just like it makes the whole kitchen it makes the whole shabbat so anyways <laughs> all right i'll show you guys how it looks before it goes into the oven right after it comes out and then all ready for shabbat okay and here's how everything's looking just out of the oven we're gonna light the candles, say the blessings, plate it up, and enjoy some dinner. Okay, so for tonight's dinner, we're doing fajitas. I'm just using a little fajita seasoning packet with some chicken that's conveniently already cut up into little strips, but I might cut them just a tiny bit smaller. And then, sorry, this looks crazy. This is soy chorizo from Trader Joe's. So it's um, vegetarian. I used it last week. That's why it's like very kind of oily and spicy. So it's hard to <laughs> save it for the next week. 
And then I'm just gonna stir fry that with an onion. So that's gonna be the inside of the tacos. And then I got these mozzarella style shreds. These are again, dairy free. They're made out of cashew. So it's nice to have these kind of vegan options. I don't necessarily need this, but I didn't have like an avocado or something creamy to kind of put with the taco. So I like using that um, to keep this meal kosher. And then I just have tortillas my leftover rice, leftover coleslaw, and a pepper. It's like towards the end of the week, so I don't have, or to ends of like when I do my grocery shopping. Um, but that's fine, that's gonna be totally fine for the meal. So yep, just gonna cook it up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so it's stir fry together, the chicken, the soy chorizo, and the onion with a little bit of the uh, seasoning. And then I'm just gonna add some rice to it. Um, just to make it easier, combine it all, and <laughs> don't mind the spilled onions on my cutting board. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to mix it all together. Okay, and then for the tortillas, I just put them in a little bit of foil and bake them, not bake them, I pop them into the oven for about um, like five minutes at 400, just so they get warm and a little bit toasty. Um, I think they taste better that way. Okay, and here it is all plated up. It's, <laughs> I realize these um, tortillas are a bit large for tacos, so it's probably more like a burrito at this point, but Please. so it goes. Please. Um, yeah, Please. this is no. so good. Okay, guys, we're back for another meal. If you're hearing Elmo in the background, that's because their little ones are watching Elmo over there as they always do at four o'clock while I cook. By the way, I've had this out for two days. I really wanna go with the spaghetti squash and I keep not having, I don't know, the right thing that I want to do with it. Anyways, back to tonight's dinner. So uh, this one was inspired by this from Trader Joe's. I love these scallion, scallion pancakes. They're so, so good. You just put them in the oven for like 10 minutes, so good. More leftover rice, if you can believe it. I don't know why this rice le is lasting for so long. I might have to title this video a week of rice meals. Um, then we have broccoli. This is a veggie meat crumble. So it's like meat substitute crumbles left over. And this is actually deli turkey. So this is what I have in the house and we're gonna make a meal from this. So I'm making a Asian stir fry for the sauce. I'm using soy sauce, liquid aminos. I actually keep this around because uh, my mother-in-law is gluten-free and you can use this instead of soy sauce, but I actually love the combination of those flavors. And then some honey. So what I'm gonna do is stir fry the veggies, the meat and fake meat products in with the rice and then serve it with these scallion pancakes and yeah, that's gonna be dinner tonight. Kind of a random one, but this is how we eat, very randomly. Okay, so here is everything stir frying up. I found some leftover cauliflower and I'm just trying to use everything in the fridge right now, so I added that in. Um, by the way, this is a green pan. Um, I really like them for doing nonstick cookware. They're a little bit better than just like our traditional nonstick because they don't have all the toxins on them. So I just wanted to give that, give that pan a little shout out. Um, and then I was going to mix the rice in with it, but thought that would be a little too much like the dinner we just had. So I'm actually going to serve it separately underneath the veggies and meat. And then I'll just pop this in the oven and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so here is the dinner all plated up. Got the rice at the bottom, the veggie, meat, fake meat, <laughs> stir fry on top, and the scallion pancakes. This is looking so good. Can't wait to dive in. Okay, for dinner tonight, I am finally using this spaghetti squash. I just chopped it in half and carved out like all the seeds. I've been trying to use this up all week and just have been putting it off. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to roast it and I'm going to put chicken on top. Um, by the way, this is the kosher chicken that we get because they usually have it at Trader Joe's. It's Empire Kosher. So what I'm going to do is just place the chicken breast on top, or I might grill it next to it, but when I serve it, it'll kind of be mixed in. Um, spaghetti squash is one of my favorite things to cook for dinner. Kind of use it as like a pasta replacement. So I'll be having it with pasta sauce, which you kind of like, sh you shred it up, mix it with the sauce. And then again, I'm using the dairy-free mozzarella shreds from Trader Joe's. And then to have with it, I'm gonna use these veggies, which I just wanted to use up, so I'm just gonna roast them. And I'll show you how this all comes together. Okay, so I just put everything in the dish. I'm just adding some like seasoning onto it. This is the Montreal chicken. Um, these are like big chicken breasts, so they can take a lot of flavor. 
and then on this just oil salt and pepper and I'm gonna roast this all up okay so I decided at the last moment to just do the Brussels sprouts so I'm just sauteing them and I like to use a little of this Ozem soup powder it's Israeli it's so good and I think it's really good for flavoring the Brussels sprouts and then for no reason at all other than my self pride it's the last day of our like weekly groceries we're gonna get new groceries tomorrow if that makes sense and I just want to say I'm really proud of myself because since I've been like meal planning and working at using the leftovers I feel like we have so much less food waste so obviously we need more bread because we only have one slice left but like this is it just feels manageable to me that things aren't being wasted so like we just have the kids carrot and cucumber um, that my son uses for preschool in here I do have a little bit of lettuce to use those are just potatoes and onions you know that last one cauliflower head that I need to use but like that's really it this is like our cheese and deli drawer kind of thing um, this by the way is home and dough that I have left I need to make some more to send to my family really so I just I filmed with I filmed a home and Tasha making video I mentioned to you guys so I used half the dough and that's the other half I need to make but it just it just feels good I know you guys didn't come here for my refrigerator tour or this bad lighting but <laughs> I just feel proud of myself you know like I didn't used to be the type of person that shopped for the week made the meals shop for the next week you know like planned a little bit and I did not used to be the type of person that like was monitoring so much what was coming in was coming out like what we were wasting money on you know like I didn't spend extravagantly in the grocery store but I just wasn't like careful about it I guess it wasn't wasn't top of my mind anyways it's just been a new thing I've taken on I know like so many of us don't have the mental capacity for one more thing this year that's definitely how I feel but things like this make me feel better like I'm on top of things like I have less guilt, I have less um, stress about the meals, so it's just been really helpful. So yeah, just sharing that with you guys. <laughs> okay, so this one is what it looks like cooked. What I'm going to do is shred the inside of the squash, cut the chicken into pieces, and put it under the broiler with the dairy-free cheese. Okay, so here is what the dinner looks like. I don't know if you can really see the melted uh, vegan cheese, but it's there. It's good. And that's the spaghetti squash and the Brussels sprouts. And tonight, it's, and tonight it's being paired with a glass of wine. It's one of those days. So that is what me and my family ate this week. I hope you guys liked this video and found it inspirational or interesting if you're trying to think of dinner ideas. I know I watch a lot of other YouTubers to find ideas for my own family. So I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.